What's up people, it's Belief, and today I'll be giving you guys an overview of Sundance's abilities, explain the best way to play her, and let you know what gadgets are best for her kit. If you find this video helpful, do me a favor, smash that like button, it helps me out a whole bunch with the YouTube algorithm and it's totally free. And then subscribe if you guys want to see more Battlefield 2042 guides and gameplay. Let me know what operators you guys want to see next in the comments and let's get started. So first is her ability grenade belt. So essentially you get three different types of grenades. The first one is a scatter grenade, which is one grenade that when thrown, it would disperse into multiple nades. Ideally, you will want to use this type of grenade for multiple enemy infantry. It's really great for clearing rooms or people behind cover. The second type are anti-armor grenades. These are best suited for vehicles. When thrown, it will auto lock to the ground or air vehicle. So this is awesome, but these anti-armor grenades do not do crazy amounts of damage. It just kind of chips away at the vehicle's health. And then lastly, there are the EMP grenades. The only thing I really use these for are Boris's turrets and all I really do is just kind of stun them for a while. But so I would definitely recommend not using the EMP grenades and just focusing on the first two types of grenades since these EMP grenades are kind of useless. But my favorite part about this ability is the fact that these are essentially unlimited grenades. The only thing is that once you use all your grenades, you just have to wait for it to replenish because of the cooldown. But all in all, this is a great ability that Sundance has when you use it correctly. And then next for Sundance's most flashy ability, her freaking wingsuit, all right? So instead of a parachute, she gets the ability to glide across the map. Not only is this freaking cinematic at times, but it gives you the ability to rotate and move throughout the map very quickly. So this is great for getting to objectives faster without having to run freaking 100 miles to the next point. And you can use this ability to get great flanks on the enemy team without them exactly hearing you since the gliding mechanic is very quiet. And not only that, but there's so much chaos, you're like pretty hard to see in the air as you're like a little small dot. And then the only downside is that it does take a while to get used to the mechanics of flying the wingsuit. But once you do, it's it's freaking awesome, guys. And then I would categorize Sundance as an aggressive playstyle. Sure, you could use the wingsuit to get into high positions and snipe, but the pure mobility of her wingsuit gives her so much flanking potential to cause chaos for your enemy team's backline. I'd be stupid if I just tell you guys like, yeah, just go, just go sit in the back and snipe with her. Go, go on top of the building and just sit there and snipe. I'd be stupid if I said that. For her throwables, I would recommend using smoke grenades. These can help you when you're rotating out in the open and you're not able to use your wingsuit. And then the gadget I would usually run on Sundance is the Metacrate since you're getting into close quarter fights. You need to be able to get your health quickly and ammo shouldn't be an issue because you can pick up the ammo dropped by the enemies you kill. I'd also recommend running the A5 and AA launcher if you're tired of getting killed by vehicles. Like I said before, the anti-armor nades do not do that much damage to vehicles, but paired with the rocket launchers, it could be very helpful for getting rid of those pesky vehicle mains. So to recap everything, there's three types of nades, right? For people, cars, and robots. She glides through the air, good for getting objectives and flanking. Be aggressive, don't be a freaking loner in the back sniping. Run medical crates, kill everything. Rocket launchers with anti-armor nades make car go boom. And like, comment, subscribe, peace.